Man, it's hard to say goodbye. And so today I officially welcome to you the man that God has chosen, the new senior pastor of the Miami Temple Church and his family, Pastor Lafitte Cortez and his family. Let's give them a hand. Please bow your heads for the opening prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for it's time bringing us. children's story. I'd like all the children to come up front and have a seat right here. A scripture reading is from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, and it reads, Do not be anxious about everything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Happy Sabbath, church. It's good to finally be here. Don't be anxious about anything, but in prayer, make your request made to God. It doesn't mean you're going to get the answer that you're looking for. But he's going to give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. At the end of time, God is going to make everything right. Friendship is a treasure ship, a treasure ship that you first launch. You take the initiative in building a friendship. Because let's be honest, when you're angry, what happens when you're angry? Are you quoting scriptures when you're angry? I'm so mad at you, bless the Lord, <laughs> right? Are you, when you're, when you're angry, you're not quoting scriptures. And God is saying, I need you to trust me. Give me your emotions. When you're angry, when you're happy, when you're all, you know, all over the place in your emotions, I need you to trust me with that. But I want you to trust me with all your heart. And so the light of Jesus shines through us when we strive to dismantle racism, when we try to dismantle sexism and homophobia and, and transphobia and all, all forms of oppression. See, the light of Jesus shines through us when we seek to fight violence with peace, when, 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 when we fight hatred with love. God did not start with the do's and don'ts. He's telling Israel, I want you to go to the other side and there's going to be a land flowing with milk and honey. But he did not start, this is what you're going to do, this is what you're not going to do. He started by saying to them what? I want you to what? Love me, right, do, love. Love me with all your heart, mind, and soul. How can I give thanks to, to, because I lost my cousin, I lost my dad? What are you talking about? Can I remind you? I'm not, Paul is not talking about that. You don't, you don't give thanks because someone died. You don't give thanks because you have hardships. No, what, what Paul is referring to is we thank God for his presence and power as we walk through the trials. Many of you are struggling by yourself. And that's why you keep falling in the same sin. And that's why you have not grown spiritually because you have bought the lie. You know what the lie is? I'm going to tell you right now the lie. I got God and all I need is God. That's not true. That is the lie of the devil. Because even Jesus had Peter, James, and John. Jesus 
They worked in a triune relationship. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You, if Jesus needed the trio, you and I need a trio as well. And so Jesus' power helps us to be good friends. Trust Jesus. What is a sacrifice? A sacrifice is an act of giving up something valued for the sake of something else regarded as more important or worthy. I need you to understand this. God is saying, okay, I'm going to offer a sacrifice. And I am going to give you the most valued thing that I have here in heaven, which is Jesus. And he is going to sacrifice his life for you because in our eyes, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are more worthy. You are worth it. The reason why we fall, the reason why God forgives us and restores us is so that we can be a model and example for those that are watching us. Magic of TV. It's already done. Orale, boys and girls. My name is Pancho. Jesus was hanging on the cross. They were mocking him. Hey, if you are the Son of God, why don't you come down off that cross? If it was me, I would have been me. I think back. I do. Pa 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 pa. All of you would have been dead. But Jesus stayed on that cross. And what did he say? Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. Faith is grounded in the reality of the past. My God has been faithful in the past, so now my hope is looking, my confident expectation is looking to the reality of the future. Not because of the situation, but because of my God.